Hello viewers, you're welcome to Nikki Culture channel. In this channel, I share a lot of sewing tutorials. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and you'll be glad you do so. Today, I'll be sharing a video on how to make a 720 degree peplum off shoulder bustier blouse. This type of off shoulder bustier blouse we have a band under the bust or two inches band under the bust and it will also have an elastic sleeve the measurements i'll be needing is the shoulder measurement the breast point the bust the under bust the half length and the full top length so before we proceed i would like to take the vertical measurement which will be indicated with an horizontal measurement and the vertical measurement include the neckline measurement which is you are going to measure how deep your, your neck you want your neck to be remember i told you it is an off shoulder blouse so you indicate how deep your neckline will be as for me i want it to be as deep as five inches so you place your tape depending on how off you want it to be you're going to place your tape and when you place your tape you're going to deduct the measurement you want to deduct how you deep you want your neckline to be as for me i would prefer five inches that's my neckline the next one you are going to take is your upper chest the upper chest measurement i'm using is eight inches as you can see and the bust measurement the breast point the bust point i mean the bust point is 10 inches while the under bust is 14 and you know i told you this is this we have a band under the bust so i will only come down i won't reach the half length i will only come down by one inch more so I'm going to add just one inch which is 15 because I'm still going to add a band of two inches which will give me the half length of 17 inches all together so I have my vertical measurements here so I'm going to indicate it with a straight ruler and label it so I'm going to label it out the neckline will be indi indicated with NK while this will be indicated the upper chest you see you can place it anywhere and this is the bust and this is the under bust while this is I will call this this is the, the extension of the under bust so I'll still put a band which will indicate the waist. So from there we have the measurement here. The next thing to input is my nipple to nipple measurement. And the nipple to nipple measurement for this tutorial is 7 inches. So for the sake of joining the panels together, I'm going to use 4 inches. So I will mark my 4 inches on all the horizontal lines. Four four here, four hold two. So from that, I'm going to connect it with a straight ruler. So I have the bust point, the nipple to nipple measurement is connected now with a straight ruler down there. So the next thing to input is our dart. So as you all know, I'm going to input under the bust, one inch on each side. One inch here and one inch here. So when you come to the bust point, you are going to avoid a pointed edge. You are going to come down by three quarter inch and you also go up by three quarter inch then you come to the neckline the line you used to because we are still going to create our neckline 
but this is temporary uh, uh, temporary so we're going to measure one inch also here like so then one inch here so we have point here one two three four five six seven eight so we are going to connect all those points together right now with a straight ruler before we can do the blending watch me as i do that so the points have been connected so the next thing to do this is very easy and simple to make you know i've done the one that has shoulder cut along with it but this one is based on request because this will not this will only have an off shoulder sleeve not that the shoulder will be cut together that's why we have deducted the neck so right now the next thing to do is to input my measurement so i'm going to come under the bust and input the measurement that i need i'll come on the bust line and input the bust measurement so the measurement for this tutorial the bust is 36 36 divided by 4 give me 9 then i'm going to add 2 inches allowance which will give me 11. So when I come under the bust, the dart that has been deducted is 2 inches. I'm going to add it to whatever the measurement is here. So the other bust measurement is 28. 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. 7 plus the 2 inches taken here will give me 9. 9 plus 2 inches sewing allowance will give me also 11. So when I come here, I'm still going to input I have one and a half that intake. So one and a half that intake will be added to whatever I have here. So I also have 28 inches here for the waist measurement. The waist measurement will be input here. So let me let me stay waist also so that we won't get confused. So the waist is 28. 28 divided by 4 will give me 7. 7 plus 1 and a half will give me 8 and a half. 8 and a half plus 2 will give me and a half so I'm going to add each allowance of half inch which will give me 11 also so the measurement that we input here is the bust measurement which is 9 inches plus 2 inches which will give me which is the sewing allowance which will give me 11 inches plus the half inch that is here which will give me 11 and a half inches so the 11 and a half inches will be added with half inch is allowance which will give us 12 inches so then we now come up this is where some people get confused but it is very easy and simple when you come to this neckline you are going to create your own neckline for this pattern so the neck width i'm using for this tutorial is four and a half inch inches so if i'm using four and a half inches because this is cut on food let's say it is cut on is this half that is being cut now so the the neck width is let's say nine inches so i will divide it by two for the front panel the neck width is nine inches when i divide it by two it will give me four and a half so four and a half will be input here four and a half inches plus the dart intake here which is two will give us six and a half inches then that is what i'm going to input here i'm going to input six and a half inches plus the sewing allowance because we are going to join these panels together so we must consider all the sewing allowance so half inch plus half inch that we use to join this together is one so i'm going to add that one to six and a half six and a half it will give me seven and a half and on this side too we have half inch so half inch to join it to the sleeve will give us eight all together so i'm going to input eight inches here i think we understand so from here the next thing to do since we have created our neckline the next thing to do is connect the neckline to this upper chest then i'll connect other points together now i'll do that with the straight ruler right now so for the neckline i'm going to create a i want it to Come down a little bit i don't want it to be straight so i'm going to create that with my 
cove roller. You want to play that with my cove roller? You can place it and you can even use your free hand to do that. Depends on how deep you want your neckline to be. So I will come down by one inch. I'm going to come down by one inch here. So I'm going to connect it to this. So the next thing to do is to cut it out. I'm going to do that just now. This is what we have. You can connect it like this. So for the fourth final, this is what we have. So I'm going to trim off the neck bit like so. And this is what we have. This is the back panel. So what I did is I I came off by what I did is that I input the neckline how rough I want it to be the way I did for the front panel. 5 inches off then after that I take my upper chest measurement the bust measurement which is 10 inches the under bust 14 and the waist which is um, 15 so after that the next thing to do is to input our nipple to nipple which is 4 inches as you can see 4 inches here also 4 inches here also 4 inches here I'm going to come from the upper chest which is also known as our hammer, I'm going to come down by one inch. Then on the under bust, I'm going to come outward here by half inch and come here by half inch for the dart intake. That's what I'm doing. And here, half inch and half inch. I'm going to connect the points together with this on a straight line. Remember, I came down here. Line. So, I'll first of all connect the straight line. Connect the straight line, which is nipple to nipple, then I'll connect it to make the dart intake. So, the next thing to do is to input our measurements. On the upper chest, the boss measurement will be input, which is 9 plus 2 extra inches for sewing allowance, which is 11. So the next thing to do is to input the boss measurement. Boss measurement is 36 divided by 4, 9 plus 2 inches sewing allowance. Then here the dart intake is 1 inch. Add it to the 28 divided by 4, which is 7, which is it, it will give us 8. 8 plus 2 inches sewing allowance will give us 10. And also here the same measurement will be repeated because the waist and the under boss they are the same thing. For this client measurement so the next thing to do is also to come on this neckline the way i did for the front borders i'm going to come on the neckline and input my neck width the neck width is four and a half the way i did for the neckline the for the back bodies so the four and a half i'll input it like this then i'm going to add extra inch for this for sewing which will give us which will give me five inches all together so i'm going to connect the five the this this point to this point so this is where my sleeve will be connected to so the next thing to do is to connect the points together and you can see it is as simple you can come on the neckline depending on how deep you want the neckline to be because this is the back I can go as deep as 2 inches, depends on you. So then I'll connect it. So by the time by the time I will I want to cut on my fabric, that's when I will add my sewing allowance. 
I'll add one inch sewing allowance to it. So let's we forget sewing allowance is not added here. It's when I want to join and I want to cut the fabric that will add the sewing allowance and you will see it. So the next thing to do is to cut this out. For the peplum now, the peplum is 320 degree peplum. So 720 degree peplum is cut with the formula. If you haven't watched my tutorial on how to make circular patterns, I advise you to do so. In that video, you will learn how to make different types of circular patterns. So here, I'm going to show you how to make 720 degree or you watch that video. So the formula that I will use in doing that is, there is a standard formula for that. You are going to use the radius, your radius equals to circumference over 2 pi multiplied by 1 over 2. That's the standard formula. The radius here is calculated by, is what you are going to input to draft out your flame. So the radius is what you are going to use, the formula you are going to use to draft, draft out the exact circumference of your, your flame. So, you are going to input your circumference. What is your circumference? Your circumference is your waist measurement. So the waist measurement here is 28 inches. As I've told you that the waist is 28 inches, the circumference. But I'm going to add two inches, which will be my sewing allowance, that the zip allowance, where the um, uh, circum circumference will join together to make the zip zipper. So I will have 30 inches all together. So 30 divided by 2 multiplied by the pi here is 3.142 that's the standard number multiplied by 1 over 2 which is so I'm going to have if you do the calculation on your calculator you are going to have 30 over 6.2 which will give me 4.7 all together 4.77 multiply by 1 over 2 and I'm going to have 2.38 as my radius 2.38 will be my radius so the radius here we have here is 2.38 so I, I will have this 2.38 at the back of my mind and I'm going to use it to cut out my 720 degree plane so I will show you how to fold it and then this is the fabric you want to use This is my fabric. Then I'm going to fold it into eight because this 720 degree means 360 times two. That means means a circular pattern in two places makes 720 degree. So I'm going to fold in eight places because in the circular pattern we have four quadrants, and in 720 degree that means you have eight quadrants. So I'm going to fold into eight places. So I'll first of all fold it before. Right now I've folded it into four. You can do it in any way that pleases you. But this I'm doing it in such a way that my fabric will not be wasted. So this is into four places already. From here to here is what I'm using to cut the pattern the um, circular pattern so here I'm going to fold again so all this circular pattern it depends on the way you fold it if you do not get the right folding you may not get the accurate result so for 720 degree you are going to fold into eight so if I count this now it will be into eight that I have folded because it is eight circles. So right now, the next thing to do is to input my measurement. As I have told you, that the measurement you need for this is two point three eight. The radius is two point three eight. So I'm going to input two point three eight right now. So this is two. This is two point five. 
and right now my 2.38 will be somewhere right here like 2.4 so I'm going to mark that all around. So I have my 2.38 radius marked. So this is our radius. So I have my 2.38 radius marked out. So from there, I'm going to measure the length of my peplum. Since the half length, the waist measurement, the waist length, the half length I'm using for this tutorial is 17. I'm going to deduct it from 24. 17 divided from 24, I'm going to have 7 inches. So, 7 inches will be the length of my peplum. So, I'm going to add sewing allowance. The sewing allowance I'm going to add to this is 1 and a half. Or let me say 2. I'm going to add 2 inches to the 7. So, I will have 9. I will have 9 inches altogether. I'm going to mark 9 here. Nine. The 9 will go round. So, next thing I will do is to cut it out. I have my 720 degree. So, this is the 720 degree. You can see it, we have two separate patterns out right here. So, I'm going to cut it, slit it, slit this one here, slit this one here, and join it together to form the whole circumference so the next thing to do is to join a hard state with this we call it peplum state that will make it to stand well so i'll go and do that and you will see the result for the elastic sleeve the bicep measurement is nine inches i need the upper arm so I'm going to triple that measurement and add sewing allowance. So by tripling the measurement, I'm going to have 30 inches. I'll cut it on a straight line like that. So I have 30 inches here because I have this is cut on foot. I will mark it. Then, because this type of sleeve we have an elastic and it will be a puff sleeve, so the width will be 10 inches. By the time I pour it, it will reduce to like the width of the sleeve will reduce to like maybe five inches. But because I'm going to still sew this, um, the elastic rubber will be put on the edge, this this edge and this edge. So I will show you how to do that. So this is for the sleeve. So by the time I want to sew it, I'm going to fold like this. Then I will stitch. I'll fold it like I want to put an elastic elastic rubber inside. So I will stitch on and on like that, like an half inch is what I'm going to use to stitch it like that and go on like that. Then I'll put my rubber inside it. I'll put my rubber to be able to pull it together to make it puffy. So, this is this for, and what I did here, I'm still going to do it here. For the band, 
the band is very straightforward you are just going to cut a straight piece so the measurement of the waist is what is here the waist measurement is um, divided by is 28 inches i put 28 inches 28 inches divided by four to give me seven inches and i added one and a half inches sewing allowance so this is for the zipper allowance this is for the back bodies and this is for the front bodies i'm going to notch the middle just cut a straight piece and the width of the straight of these straight pieces is three inches because one inch will go for the sewing which will make it to remain two inches we have three for the width and the length will be determined by your waist measurement this is the front bodies and the back bodies cut out with the fabric so i've used the pattern to cut out the fabric right now as you can see don't forget to put the sewing allowance the sewing allowance for the back bodies is here the i mean the zipper allowance don't forget to put it and the sewing allowance half inch sewing allowance here half inch sewing allowance here half inch here half inch here and half inch here also so this is done for the wording you are going to come out by one inch here come down by one inch here you just place the center panel as you can see then you just trace it out this is for the paddy and for the side panels use the center panel to cut it out trace it out then cut it like so then cut so this is done notch the middle the breast point notch it and this is the peplum the earth day has been ironed with it you can see this is the second one i'm going to join it together to make it stand the hard stay is it's also called a peplum stay it will make the stay to stand well so you will see the result when i join all the panels together If you like our video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. See you in my next video. Take good care of yourself until then. Bye.